hey y'all so today's video is a braidless sewing tutorial i'm gonna be showing you how you can do this on yourself at home so this video is sponsored by kalai hair make sure to check out those links down below so they sent me four bundles of the brazilian body wave hair i have two 24 inches and two 22 inches as y'all can see this hair is popping make sure to click those links down below and now let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial all right y'all so we about to get started on our braidless sew-in and i just wanted to come and show y'all how you want to have your hair prepped before you start you want to make sure it's clean i washed my hair maybe like a few days ago but you want to make sure it's shampoo and blow dry that's it you do not want to flat iron it don't want to put nothing no type of heat in it other than a blow dryer reason being is because you want to have a little bit of texture to your hair so that way the beads um can have like something to grip onto like if you relax you pro probably want to wait until you got like a little bit of new growth or you know just something to have a little bit of texture um to where you know you can put these beads on and they won't slide out and i also want to share with y'all the type of thread to use so this is nylon thread like as you can see it's that like silky type of thread rather than the cotton thread you do not want to use cotton thread when you're doing a braidless sewing cotton thread is going to like soak out all your oils and like really dry your hair out nylon thread is definitely better to use it's easier to use when it comes to a braidless sewing nothing gets like snagged or stuck because it's so smooth it's so thin you know what i'm saying so get you some nylon thread bowls. of course you want to have your micro links or hair extension links is what they call when you get them from sally's and then you want to have a hair threader you can also find this at sally's and then of course you want to have the little squeezy thing i'm not hair pliers i think that's what he's called yeah if you go to sally's or to the hair store just ask for some hair pliers and this is what they should look like not real pliers okay the hair pliers so you can squeeze the little bitty bead okay and last but not least of course you want to have some bundles normally from what i remember whenever i did a braidless sewing i only use two bundles maybe like two and a half i do have four bundles total from kalai hair i don't know if i'll be able to fit these i'm pretty sure i won't because girl i got a little bit of head i'll probably end up using two bundles i'm gonna start off with my 24 inch shields oh girl i wish i could fit all of them because ain't this just so pretty like this hair is so luscious oh so pretty you just need regular bundles you don't need the little special link or anything because this is not micro links this is a braidless sew in so you actually need like the wefted hair and as long as you got like a couple bundles you good to go okay here's how you want to have your hair kind of like you was about to do a braid pattern for like you know a regular sewing you want to have your little leave out and leave out your perimeter just like that so first you want to start by making a part just like you was doing clip-ins or gluing or something like that and make sure to pay attention because each part i do is gonna get better and better because i was kind of like reteaching myself as i went because i haven't done a braidless in so long and i haven't done one on myself so it was kind of tricky getting the hang of it at first but you just want to thread the um hair threader with beads i kind of put like six to seven on there just to you know go ahead and do the whole entire part without having to restock the beads <laughs> and then you just want to make a part just about that size thread your hair through the hair threader scoot the bead up just like that and then just push it on through to where that bead is up on near your scalp then you just want to go across that whole section and continue making the little parts putting your beads on just like that so this is the very foundation of what a braidless sew-in is. Just adding those micro links in a row creates a foundation to sew on instead of having a braid. For the hair pliers you just want to go and scoot that bead up and squeeze it pay attention this right here too tight <laughs> y'all will see at the end um how i explain how tight this um install was i'm actually going to show you guys one bead that i actually did pretty loose that was actually perfect but i end up going and tightening it because i thought it needed to be like this tight but it does not need to be this tight on your scalp now i'm just taking my bundles i'm making sure to double that weft so everything can be nice and full and also this is another piece a key piece of um what i did better 
as far as doubling my webs make sure to keep watching because on that third row i'm going to show you guys exactly how to double your webs when it comes to a braidless on really any sew in to make sure you know it's nice and flat and you don't have a bulky look because you doubled your webs so just keep watching Okay, so boom, row two, we getting better. Now pay attention to how I parted row two in comparison to row one. You wanna part it like thinner and not thicker, if that makes sense. Like you want your part to be thinner. That way your install could be a lot more fully. You could fit a lot more hair in your install when you make thinner parts. I hope that makes sense. I, I, I'm sure y'all can see the difference between how I parted the first one and how I parted the second one. The second one is what you wanna do. The first one and not so much. right here do y'all see that that was actually perfect okay y'all gonna see me go back and like retighten it but i just want y'all to look at that one look at that look that was actually perfect when i scooted it up i made it too tight like y'all y'all my head was screaming at me y'all will see at the end but this is how everything should be looking so far you got your track sewn on okay no braids what it do oh and this part very important this is how you want to start doubling your webs so you want to put two webs together, of course, but you want to put that second web down, maybe like a half inch to an inch. So that way it's not bulky on the sides. That way you can pull it up into a ponytail without you seeing a whole bunch of tracks. That way it's laying flat. I always used to do this, like even with regular sewing. So I just implemented this with my braidlet. Then when you're finishing the other side, you want to make sure you cut that inside track shorter than the outside track. Like have it ending on like the second to last beat. That way it can look, you know, the same as what you started with, with that outside track being longer than the inside. So you can have a flat install. I also want to add that you can leave hair out in between your rows. As for me, I did every single row because I wanted my install to be super full and I'm not really going to worry about wearing it like half up, half down. So like when you party, you can see like the beads and stuff. But if you do want to wear styles like half up, half down or something like that, then you want to make sure to leave out, you know, that little bit of hair in between a row so you can cover the tracks both ways.
So for my rose at the top, I decided to just go single with my weft so it don't be like, you know, super bulky or whatever. And yeah, we about done. I'm just measuring, cutting that weft, sewing it on. And I guess I want to show y'all right here how you really want to sew on these wefts because I really, like, the camera couldn't really get a good angle at me sewing. But as you can see, I'm going like um, horizontal on the row, if that makes sense. Like, I'm, I'm sewing basically... Uh, the same shape as the bead is going. I am so terrible at explaining stuff, but I hope that made sense. Maybe I'll show it again. Maybe, let's see. There we go. Y'all see how that needle is going like back? If you was braiding the sewing, you would be going like vertical. But with a braid list sewing, you want to be going horizontal. You want to be going the same direction as the row, like going around instead of up and down. Yeah. There we have it, honey. We done. We done. It was not too hard, was it? So now I'm just uh, taking down my leave out and my perimeter, getting ready to style it, brush it all in together, style it all in together. And look at that. Look how natural that braidless be, though. Like, I just love it. Love the braidless install. So many benefits to a braidless. You could pull it up. <laughs> not quite yet, okay? It's too tight. But you can pull it up in a ponytail, you know, half up, half down. You can wear so many different styles with this install. Another thing, it is so, like, freeing. Like, if you like to have your scalp free, if you like to itch, scratch scalp, if you like to oil your scalp, and you do not like your hair being all cooped up with a sew-in, braidless is definitely for you. It's just so versatile. Once again, like, I just love it. Like, look at that. Girl, yes. My hair. Whose hair? Mine period <laughs> so we about to get ready to style it i'm just going in with my pressing comb um just getting everything straight i'm gonna do some crimps y'all will see me use my crimper or whatever and yeah that's it Y'all, when I say this took some time, it is 3.39 a.m. I probably started on this at like 8 o'clock. It was still like light outside. It was probably like 7.30, 8 o'clock. And I'm just not finished with the install and styling it. Like it took so long. Of course, I took like a little, small mini breaks. But it did take a long time. I'm not going to even hold y'all up. Normally, like from what I remember, like doing this on clients, it only took like maybe two hours but on myself like i told y'all this is my first time doing this um install on myself so you know trying to reach to the back of your head and trying to you know what i'm saying see in the mirror and stuff so yeah it did take a while to finish this myself but i feel like once i got my groove like i was maybe halfway done i really started speeding up and really getting the hang of it but i am really happy i think it was definitely worth it all them hours it was definitely worth it because i love love this so much and i was also a little worried about how it would blend with my hair like as far as my hair being like up here and the weave being you know 24 inches i didn't know if it would look good or like if it'll like you know blend in but as y'all can see not choppy at all everything blends in so good you can't even see my hair like this looks 
so good i'm so excited i'm so happy with this y'all i did use here go my leftover here i didn't use um one bundle mm, so i got me a whole bundle left over which is 22 inches and then i have like a little bit of 24 i forget which one it is and a little bit of 22 left over so in total i think i used three and a half bundles which i did not expect i only expected to use two but i'm really happy that i was able to squeeze in so much hair because i was a little worried about that too like is it gonna be full because you know the longer your hair is you know the more bundles you want to have so it can look nice and full so yeah about two and a half bundles everything came out so great i am in love i'm gonna have this install in for a hot little minute because i just love me a braidless install now one thing about this is it is tight okay this is tight i feel like i got some braids even though this is a braidless sewing i do feel like my hair is braided because of how tight it is and um yeah i definitely should have moved the micro length down a little more so it won't be so tight on my scalp but i definitely can go in and like you know undo the you know squeeze it make it a circle drag it down a little bit and squeeze it back so i can kind of like loosen it up and some spots because i was like girl trying to put this in the ponytail was like ooh, no boo boo so yeah that was really like the only thing i would change is not making this so tight but everything else like girl i just i'm in love i am in love i can't even stop touching this hair i love this hair by the way shout out to kalai hair y'all make sure once again check those links down below in that description box this hair is beautiful as y'all can see this is the natural body waves but i went on and threw in some crimps just to get it all you know blended together with my hair and everything but this hair is beautiful i love it it's nice and full the ends as y'all can see i'm all for some full ends the ends are nice and full and i just really really love this hair i love this install i can't wait to do like some different styles i can't wait to like pull it up once it loosens up okay once i get it loose i'm gonna definitely be wearing it like you know in the ponytail because girl a braidless will have you delusional like this is this is my hair if y'all have any questions about the braidless install i would definitely try to get some more videos out like washing it um i plan on wearing this all month so i'm gonna wash it retighten it you know straighten it do different styles with it but if y'all do have any more questions about the braidless sewing make sure to comment down below and i'll try to get back to y'all either in the comment section or in another video when i follow up with this install but yes y'all that is it. i am so in love with this install i just can't say it enough make sure y'all thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe if you ain't subscribe boo and follow me on instagram so you can see some pics because i'm definitely finna taste some pics this, you know what I'm saying? love y'all so much i will catch y'all in the next video peace out